Would you rebuke those comments? Well, I think what we got to do is we got to bring everybody together. I would also say that what Vice President Harris said yesterday, that our day before yesterday, that you know, if if you have a different skin color, you're going to get relief that's faster. That's not what the, that does, that's, that's not, not what the Vice either. President so said. So I think what we've got to do. That's not what the Vice President said. She talked about no, equity exactly and the problem meant. within FEMA. But I'm specifically asking you about Marjorie Taylor Greene and, and no, 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 President no, 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 Trump. Wait, 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 Margaret, Margaret, let's make sure. FEMA has to be colorblind. Mm -hmm. FEMA has to provide support to everybody. Sir, so we got, you're talking we got to do about, everything we sir, can to you're bring talking people about together. substance, and I would love to talk to you about that. But what I quoted you was a phrase saying McConnell has a death wish. He said racist things about Elaine Chow. And then they have already started the killings. I mean, that's not a policy dispute, Senator. Uh, the language is, is what I'm talking about. It, isn't that dangerous? I, th I, I think we all have to figure out how do we start bringing people together. And you would agree that that language doesn't bring people together? I believe that what the I believe what the President Trump was talking about is the fact that we can't keep spending money. We are we're going to hurt our poorest families the most. OK, that's not what the former president said. Margaret Brennan makes it pretty clear because Rick Scott is unable to. Being asked for the, the guy who he's definitely gonna support for president in 2024, Donald Trump, saying that Mitch McConnell has a death wish and calling Elaine Chow, Coco Chow, and Marjorie Green lying to a crowd of deranged MAGA fans that the Democrats are slaughtering Republicans. It is very, very easy to denounce that. And if you're not going to, to hide behind, I want to focus on bringing people together as you refuse to denounce the one who's driving us apart. Six times in that one little clip is absolutely pathetic. There are people who can do it that are more talented, but he was stumbling and bumbling and tripping over his own tongue. She wasn't buying it. She was holding him on that topic, Margaret mm -hmm. Brenna. So I think she did a good job. It's not gonna matter to a lot of Republicans in the state because they don't want Rick Scott to denounce Trump. They agree with Trump and with Marjorie Green, but that's about as good as I think the media is gonna be able to do on that. What a beta male, what a shook cuck. I'm sorry, like that oh my is- God. No, no, but look, like like Anna said it, you know, just like that, that Trump has made beta males out of every single Republican lawmaker. The, this is the party and the line that keeps on talking about strong men. And yet, who can't they be strong against? Donald Trump has made them all complete wet noodles. And I thought that was so astute and mm -hmm. I'll keep on saying it. Because look at him, he's crumbling, he's shaking. So you can't denounce a death threat against a member of your own party? <laughs> like just- <laughs> <laughs> Complete implosion. And on top of that, you guys know what he's referencing, right? He's referencing the idea of equity in FEMA, which basically means the people who were hardest hit will get the most support in the recovery from Hurricane Ian, which is something that we've been talking about. Hey, let's hope this doesn't go to rich people who don't need the, the assistance. But because that word equity to a white supremacist party, they've yeah. twisted that word to make it sound like people of color are going to get more than white people, straight up. The word is yep. equity, it means equality, it means we all get the same. Like what the hell, what the no, hell? No, he, he understands what he's saying and he knows how the audience is gonna interpret it. Yeah, That's why it was the dodge he went to. No, it's absolutely, anyway, uh, yeah. No, he's was, he was absolutely pathetic. Did not do as good of a job as uh, Marco Rubio and dodging that. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.